Excuse me. Hello everybody, my name is Merle and today we are gonna be making vegan fish and chips out of celery ash. What the hell is that? No, it is not a mandrake. It is also not the root of celery. It is essentially the same plant that celery is, but it's cultivated for different reasons. So let's stop talking and let's, let's do this way. Okay, so I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 204.4 degrees Celsius. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the top off of this celery root, and then we're gonna just use the knife and we're gonna do that to to peel around the entire guy. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's much better to use a knife than an actual peeler. Your peeler will get clogged up and nobody needs that. So don't forget to compost. You just wanna take a thin layer off with your knife and it'll look like this. This is what you wanna see. Great, doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be pretty much bald. Now, we're gonna slice these up into about two to three inch rounds this. Okay, so now we're gonna take a nori sheet. This is just about a quarter of one sheet. And I'm gonna mince this up very, very finely into like a kind of a powder. Ooh, that's a fun sound. That's like an ASMR moment if I've ever heard. I don't think I have the ASMR thing, but like that sounds good, right? And before I put this on, I'm gonna add my olive oil. There we go. Some salt. Now, nori. Oh, that looks cool. All right, now I'm gonna mix this up. So, once you've got this all well mixed, you're gonna put these bad boys right on your baking sheet. I'm just gonna go pop these into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna let them cool for like five minutes before I bring them back out. I'll be right back after that. That's all roasted and good to go, but first we have to make our marinade. We're going to add some canola oil, some olive oil. This is caper brine. It's like three quarters of a cup. Lemon juice. Got lemon zest, some rice wine vinegar, and some sugar. Now I'm going to shred up the remaining sheet of my nori and just add that in there. So you especially wanna add these nori sheets because these are what are gonna give you that yummy, fishy flavor that you're craving in fish and chips. All right, so let's add our celery act to this. So I know you're gonna hate this, but you're gonna wanna let these marinate for about six hours to overnight. Luckily, I've already gone ahead and done that because I'm an overachiever. So we've got some flour and some cornstarch, some baking soda and some salt and some beer. Okay, so we're gonna add our baking soda and our salt to the flour. There we go, out you go. Mix you up, and then just a good old fashioned lager. Seems only fair. And I wanna mix this up. I'm gonna stir it in slowly and consistently so we can really mix this up. This is gonna be our beer batter. All right, so we've got our cornstarch, we've got the batter. Now, I'm just gonna take my celery root out of the marinade. I'm just gonna let those sit there for like two minutes or so. All right, so our oil is at 375, and now we're going to take our celery root and we're gonna coat it very evenly in our cornstarch. All right, plop it into the batter. I'm gonna use my fork to maneuver this that boy around so it's totally coated. I'm gonna pierce this and let that drip off a bit. Not bad at all. I'm telling you, confidence is everything. So we're gonna let these cook for about three to four minutes and I'm gonna flip it halfway. Ooh, that looks nice. Look at that golden brown, almost looks like a donut. These look so beautiful. Yay. Okay, so now these are all good to go. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt on top because there's pretty much nothing that salt can improve. Yay, look at how beautiful this is. Come on, looks wise, I feel like this is like a nine or a 10, not a 10. I'm feeling very excited about this, but uh, before I give it a shot, I have some unfun facts. There is a reason that I decided to do fish and chips and try to veganize it. And it's because there are several studies that believe 
that by 2048, there's a possibility that we could start to see fishless oceans because of overfishing. How is that possible, you're wondering? And I totally understand that, because like, the ocean's huge, and we have a bunch of them, and there's fish everywhere. Another really unfun fact is that around 40% of the 160 billion pounds of fish that are caught every year are discarded. So that's like 63 billion pounds of dead fish just thrown back into the ocean. So all of this to say, don't worry, I'm not saying you can't eat fish, you can do whatever you want. What I'm trying to do is offer you like, you know, a favorite meal from forever that happens to be vegan and hopefully tastes just as good. Okay, now we can have fun again. All right, let's see. Whatever this is, it tastes delicious. The texture is spot on. Fish doesn't have a ton of flavor, so from what I remember of like a classic fish and chips, I think this hits the nail on the head. I can't believe this is a root. I don't feel like people are gonna be like, this doesn't taste good. I just think they're gonna be very confused as to what this tastes like. But we'll see. Um, all right, I'm gonna bring in my victims and I'm gonna eat the rest of this. Stay tuned. Oh! <gasps> fish and chips, fish and chips. You can't have fish. No, I know. No, that's not vegan. It looks like cod. It looks like a bit of battered cod. Very good, what does it smell like? Cod. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like chicken soup. You really, what? <laughs> so I'm pretending I'm in England right now. Can you do an English accent? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Mmm. <laughs> Is that what I did? <laughs> okay, okay so this is your fish and chips. Oh, it's a strange accent you have there. Where are you from? That's certainly not. That's that, that is more British than yours. <laughs> I like it a lot. You do like it. This is tame. Oh, it's these really are... good. Me, oh man, used to take me down. <laughs> that was Jamaican. Hmm. You don't like it. Yeah, I can tell you don't like it. I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> this nice woman. Please. <laughs> what the f is this? Radish hearts of palm. Jicama? Is that an artichoke? Radish. What is this? Onion. A gourd. Garlic. This can't be another mushroom. Potato. Is it a potato? <laughs> no, but it's in the family. Jalapeno. What's in the potato family? Dude, is it like some weird thing I'm not gonna know? Dude, yes it is. It just doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> Radish. Like I really and truly don't know what this is. It's celery root. I was totally gonna say that first. Yeah. But I decided not to. Oh, no way in freaking hell I was gonna get that. Celery root. That's why I don't like it. I don't like celery. You don't like I celery. I don't like celery. What is it with celery? Celery is the most innocent vegetable. Know, what is everybody's I vendetta against celery? It tastes like water and baby's I breath. I don't know. It doesn't taste like celery, does it? No. The texture is delightful. Would not have thought it was fish, but okay. you know, it kind of looks like it because of the flakiness. The flakiness is crazy. Like this looks so much like fish and the texture tastes like fish. Oh. It excels in flavor, but it doesn't fall too short in texture. Okay, likeness to fish, zero. I give it an eight. Likeness to fish, two. 7.4? A solid seven. I like it more than fish. Does it taste like fish? I mean, I wouldn't put it on sushi. This is better than a lot of fish and chip dishes I've had. I just want to eat more of it. Hot tip to the chef. Ah. Uh, Yes, keep that up. Hats up to the beautiful chef. You're like, shut the f up. I <laughs> take f that was trending. Okay, so you don't like it. You can yeah, tell me like 5,000 different ways. Thank but you for I like trying. You. I know, I know. Like you, please, okay. don't break up with me just because I don't like it. Please. I was gonna joke and break up with you, but then I thought that might get too real. Okay, no. okay, 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 you can cut. No, no, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, that so yeah, that was impressive.